Well guys, this is where the tour video started. I was talking at this time, but um, I'm just thinking it's best off if I do an over voice on the day. Uh, you can actually tell the distance between Wembley Park and down to Wembley Stadium in this bit of clip here. Um, this is, as I said, this is where it started. Um, I didn't actually know this until the day, but there are actually two main roads on Wembley Way as you walk up to Wembley Stadium. Um, and they're getting ready for the FA Cup on this day uh, because it's two days before we had the uh, FA Cup final at Wembley. So it's a bit of a mid take, but AO. And um, this is, was the first bit of me touching the Wembley arch, and I do get to the other end, literally just coming up now. Um, but yeah, it's a very brilliant day. Um, I advise anyone to do it, and I'll talk more about the stadium tour as we get into this as well. But touching the Wembley arch twice, I thought it's Quite nice to try and touch the white bit, but I weren't tall enough. There are fact three of these plaque things I saw, and I got all more camera, and it was just a very, very nice, um, you know, day out. Uh, the Bobby Moore statue. I speak about Bobby Moore. Um, how he's only getting paid eight pound a week when he won the FA Cup back in nineteen sixty six, and you do see the trophy in this video a bit later on as well. Um, but yeah, I was just saying basically, you know, players either pay for money or pay for the game. Literally pay for the game means you get about two grand and you're happy with it, you know, no matter what club. Or you'll do rather go for more money and just play for more money, more money, more money. Um, I do understand the gist of it, but, you know, look up to players like Bobby Moore um, back when he won the 1966 World Cup. And, uh, you know, and he got paid about £8, which obviously today's money is nothing. You learn about a bit of history as well on this screen here. Um, I also lots, uh, you know, Lionesses and all the other no trophies that one at Wembley. This is all about the inside of the stadium. This turnstile, I do see when a bit of them when I go to non leagues. I don't really see them in the EFL or Premier League anymore. Um, but I do tell you in a minute, this bit here, that you do just that you turn it by putting your foot on that pedal and down in the bottom screen. The statue of both Wembley's, this was a new one. Uh, and it's this is the bit of the self guided tour. As you go in, uh, it's self guided then guided. Um, this was the old Wembley. Um, I guess it's some of you are maybe it's a bit too young to know about the old Wembley, but this was a statue of the old Wembley, and it was a very nice statue indeed. There's the 1966 World Cup won well, by England. This is where you start the guided tour. Um, you know, and I do know I am well, I was a bit of a Top Gear fan, so you know, seeing it from that angle was a bit. And there's the two uh, legends top between Ronaldo and Messi and Sterling. This was a bit of the press, uh, the tunnel where all the players come down after the game and speak to the press. This was the media view of it. Um, there's a bit down the front now, I didn't get on camera. This is the press room. Um, now, the press room, obviously, we all know when the Lioness has won the Euros. So, you know, that was fascinating to visit. Two of the dressing rooms, this was the first one. Very nice dressing room indeed. Um, and there's two legend tots with me again. Um, and I'll get them on video. Literally there are again. And you know, very nice tops indeed. And this is inside the England dressing room. Uh, men's dressing room. I think this was the second one we visited. You see in a minute, excuse me dad. But um, yeah, very nice dressing room indeed. Very nice art on the wall um, of the Lionesses. This is England's main dressing room as well. Um, so this would be the one England uses when they play there. Uh, the tops, obviously not match worn. I did check. They don't actually wear them in matches, but just there for show. Um, and there's a picture of me with Phil Foden's shirt. Tunnel, this was a very nice um, touch. I know we're getting ready for the FA Cup, which is between Main and Main City. So, you know, it was uh, all getting ready for that. And... Uh, there's me coming out the tunnel, what a nice view it is. Um, I didn't play music, but I sort of understand why they didn't. But hey ho, I've got this bit behind the advertising board, and I'll show you a bit in front of the advertising board, which we were allowed to pass on the day. There's me in the dugout in the middle seat. And this is the other side of the advertising board, so pretty much near the... Uh, the box, the manager's box, or whatever you want to call it, down at the front. This was down there. This, he 
spoke a little bit about the history. I think the Dell um, got 94,000 there because the E and the L, I believe it is, at Wembley Stadium could actually lift. Um, who knew that? I didn't. So that's something new I learned. As well as the bit we were asked about, question about. If you look at the very top tiers when England played be connected with EE, when Skybet goes out, it's changed and it's all just sliding in and out, which I think was about a bit fascinating as well. So, you know, it's very all fascinating to lead and they're very much worth the £24 I paid. This is the World Box where the winning team got get a trophy. This was a few coming up to the box. That's the few I get looking out, coming up to get their winner's medal, runner's up medal. The Royal Box, this is the Royal Box. This is a Royal Box seat for you. Um, very nice for Prince William and that's it. These lions are made out of recycling. Um, now, you know, it's very nice recycling, very well done. Memory lane shirts, picture of shirts up on the wall. Um, you know, where they got a few um, memory shirts, so that's a very nice touch as well. Um, but yeah, it's very fascinating indeed. But yeah, it's a very, very nice tour. I arrange. You know, I tell you to go out, do it with someone by yourself, it don't really matter. It's a very memorable tour. I definitely paid my £24 to go out, do it again. Um, this is me pretty much wrapping the video up, just telling you about bits and bobs, but I've done that already when I say it's connected with the, uh, the stadium rises and all that. But yeah, it's a very, very memorable tour. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So guys, if you have, give a big thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.